Success is my only mother option, failure is not. I either get it or I die trying. There is no other option. That's the mindset. Today, we're gonna be talking about my number one key to success. So, you know, I'm gonna tell you, I've, I feel like I've built a life that I'm proud of. I feel like I've checked off most of the boxes that I wanted to check off in my life and that people tend to want to check off. So I consider myself decently qualified to tell you what my number one key to success is. But I'm gonna tell you this, my number one key to success is not sexy at all. And it's probably quite unexpected. I don't really hear a lot of people talking about this. So, um, and in reality, it might kind of surprise you a little bit. My number one key to success, here it is, is patience. That's my number one key to success. And I'm gonna explain patience, how to be more patient, but I'm also gonna give you some more steps after the patience and leading up to the patience that will help you succeed as well. So there's a few keys, there's a few action items, and there's a few mindset shifts that need to be made in order to take your patience, actualize it, and create the success that you want to in your life. So when we talk about success, you have to look at the world that we live in first, right? First off, before we even do that, let's talk about what does success mean to you, right? What success means to you might be completely different, actually is probably different than every other person that's listening to this podcast. Hundreds of thousands of different reasons why you want to be successful and what success means to you. To someone out there, success might mean $10 million net worth. To some of you out there, it might mean a house on the beach. To some of you guys out there, it might mean a happy family. To some of you guys out there, it might be no more anxiety. Some of you guys out there, it might be buying your mom a house. Whatever success means to you, you have to realize that we live in a world of immediate gratification. If I want food, I can get food delivered to my house in the next 30 minutes. If I want groceries, I can get groceries delivered to my house in the next couple hours. If I want to go somewhere, I can have someone come pick me up and drive me that I've never met before. If I want to know something, I can Google it and I can immediately get knowledge. We live in a world where everything is immediate except for success. Success is not immediate. Success takes time. And a lot of times we think that it's very quick because what happens is people just kind of pop up sometimes. And you're like, man, Elon Musk, for instance, he's so successful. He just like came out of nowhere one day. And that's the way that we see it. Oh, this actor is massively successful. We look at this musician. Oh my gosh, she's so massively successful. She just came out of nowhere. How did she become so successful so fast? What we don't see is we don't see the 10, to 15 years of hard work and knowledge and skill building that they have to put in in order to get to where they want to go. Very rarely does somebody decide they want to do something and then a month later, they're this massive success. It's like you don't just plant a seed in the ground and expect that tomorrow it's going to be a massive tree. You know it's going to take time. So what if you were to treat your life, treat your goals and treat your success the same way that you would if you were just waiting for a tree to grow. We just planted trees in my house. These little tiny, little teeny tiny trees are about a foot tall, right? And they're supposed to grow to 80 feet, but we got them because of the fact that they just will make a border around my house because for my house, there's just, there's nothing out. There's just nature that goes off my property, right? So we wanted a little bit of privacy trees. So I planted these little one foot trees and they've been there for about four months now and they've barely grown but I'm not trying to rush them to grow because I understand that it's not gonna go from one foot to 80 feet tall in, I don't know, a couple days. I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's been four months. What the hell's going on with these trees? I think these trees are broken. I know that it's going to take time. So when we see someone that's a massive success, it looks like it's a meteoric rise, but in reality, it was a really slow burn for them to get to where they are. For me, I don't know if it's just because I'm more of a laid back person. I don't know if it's because I was raised fishing and I'm used to being patient. I'm okay with just waiting around and doing what needs to be done until eventually I get to the point where I want to go. And as I get older, you know, I'm 35 now. I started really working on myself and building my first business when I was 19 years old. So it's been 16 years and it's cool because I can see all of the little micro decisions that I made when I was 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 years old all these little tiny decisions that got me to where I am now. But had I not made those decisions and not stayed on the path that I was on, I wouldn't be where I am. And I think it's that way for everybody. And so one of the biggest things that you can learn along your path of success is just to simply be patient. 
You can have the world. You just can't have it all at once. You've got to work towards it. You know, and when you see people that are patient and just continue to go on the path and go on the path and go on the path, put their head down and work and put their head down and work and put their head down and work, eventually you just have this feeling that they're going to get there. Because if you can be patient, if you can decide what you want and be patient, you're going to get what you want. And that's the first thing that I want to bring in. Before you have to be patient, you have to decide what it is that you want. Like when you look at your life 10 years from now, what do you want? What is the life that you actually want? Because if I'm going to go and I'm going to drive somewhere, before I get in my car, I've got to know where I want to go, right? Otherwise, I'm just going to be driving around up and down random streets. So many people out there live their lives just like they're just driving a car around and just taking random turns and random turn here and random turn here. They don't know where they're going. And too many people live their lives as if they're just wandering. They don't have any idea of what it is that they actually want. So before you decide anything else, before you can be patient, you can't just be patient and just think that life is going to come to you. You have to decide what it is that you want. So what do you want? Okay. Once you've decided what you want, what you have to do is you have to get rid of all other options. This is something I remember when I started a business with my best friend Dean years ago, we started an Amazon business and one of our friends, JJ asked a question. He said, Hey, why are you guys going into business with each other? Like you could do this on your own, all this stuff. And Dean's phrase was, Rob's the most resilient person that I know. He's basically like a cockroach. Like when he decides he's going to do it, he's just going to do it. There are no other options. And that's the way I've always lived my life is that first off, I decide what I want. Second off, I either get it or I die trying. There is no other option. And if you've listened to my episode a couple months ago on manifestation, I talk about this. When I decide what it is that I want, the opposite of what I want doesn't exist in my reality. So I can't even think to myself, oh, well, what if this doesn't work? Because the only thing that exists in my head is this is the only thing. So you've got to learn to burn the ships. You know, there's, a, there's that story of whether it's true or not. You know, there's debate on whether it's true or not, but whether or not it's true doesn't even matter. What matters is the story behind it of the Spanish conqueror was coming across. And you could tell that while he was coming across hundreds of years ago, he could notice his, his, his men weren't really in it. They were kind of uh, thinking about turning back. And so when they landed, they were in wooden boats. When they landed in the Americas, he said, all right, everybody, we're going to burn the ships. He's like, they're all like, wait, what do you mean? What are we going to burn the ships? He goes, we're going to burn the ships because you're not turning back. Either we succeed in this conquest or we all die here trying. That's the way that you've got to be with the life that you want. You've got to decide what it is that you want and all other options are off the table. There is no other plan B. It's like Will Smith says, there is no plan B because it distracts from plan A. There should only be a plan A. You have to make up your mind. You have to say, this is what I want. There is no other option. It's like the Eminem quote, right? Success is my only mother option, failure's not. That's the way that it's gotta be in your head. There is nothing else. You've gotta go for it. This is it, nothing else. Either I get it or I die trying. That's the mindset, boom. Okay, now that I know what I want, now that I've made that mindset up of I am going to get it no matter what, this is where most people usually stop. They don't go much further because then they go, I'm all in, I'm all in, I'm excited about this, I'm gonna go. And then they, they go all in and they put all of their hard work into building a brand new business. And then three months later, that business is barely doing anything. And they're like, man, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I, you know, I'm putting in three months of hard work and nothing's happened. We've barely made any money. In fact, we've lost money over the past three months. Maybe I'm just on the wrong path. Ah, I know what it is. I'll switch to another path. I'll figure out that other path that I should go down in order to be successful. Cause clearly this is the wrong one. And then what they do is they go on that other path and they're all in on that other path. Yes, we're going to do it. We're going to burn the ships. And then it doesn't work out for three to six months. Like, damn it, this must not be the right path either. No, it's not that you aren't on the right path. Is this that you have to stop stopping? As long as you just don't stop, you'll eventually get to where you want to be. I remember years ago, I was watching a, an interview with Jared Leto. Jared Leto is a uh, super successful actor. And he's also a super successful musician. So he is in two different fields that many millions of people want to be successful. Millions of people want to be some of the best actors in the world. Millions of people want to be one of the biggest bands in the world. He's both. Well, he was uh, in an interview and the lady was asking him, said, what do you, what do you, what do you think is your success? Like, why is it that you're so successful? 
And what he said was, I realized that most people just don't start. And as long as I don't, as long as I just start, I'm already light years ahead of other people. So I just have to start. And then all of the people who start, most of them give up. So as long as I just don't give up, I'm eventually going to beat almost everybody. And that is the key to success, is deciding what you want, doing it, and then going, there is no other option. This is what I'm going to do. So after three months, when you don't see success, because you probably won't, you keep going. After six months, when you don't see success, because you probably won't, you keep going. After nine months, after 12 months, after a year, after three years, after four years, it'll start to build and build and build and build and build. It's like the trees that I planted in my backyard. Before they can grow up, they've got to grow their roots down. You know, you've got to grow your knowledge and your skills and everything. That's the foundation that you're going to build everything on. Before it can grow up, it's got to grow down. You've got to put your roots down. You've got to say, this is it. I don't care what happens. Either I succeed at this or the rest of my life, I'm going to go for this. So you just don't give up. Next step, just get moving. Just keep moving. It doesn't matter how fast you go as long as you're going in the right direction. So if I were to get in my car right now, I could drive to Dallas and take about two and a half to three hours to get there. But if I were to just go on my feet and start heading in the direction of Dallas, I could walk to Dallas. And the beautiful thing about that is that as long as I was heading in the right direction, I'm eventually going to get there. It's going to take longer than it would if I took a car. I completely understand that. But the thing that I do understand is that as long as I'm heading in the right direction, it doesn't matter the speed that I'm going at, I'll eventually get there. And that is where the patience comes in. I'm going to get there one day. One day I'll be a millionaire. One day I'll have the life I want. One day I'll be able to travel the world with my family. One day I'll be able to X, Y, Z, whatever it is that you want. One day I will have it. I just have to make sure that every single morning I'm heading in the right direction. If you're heading in the wrong direction, don't get me wrong. You're not going to get what you want. That's for sure. You can't just have hard work. People are always, well, hard work. I work really hard. I said, well, you can work really hard at digging a hole in my backyard, but when you get done, I'm just going to have a hole in my backyard. There ain't going to be anything else around that. It's just a hole. So it's like you could work really hard at something that you don't want to do, but working really hard at something that you don't want to do is not going to give you the life that you want. You've got to figure out what it is that you want. You've got to work towards it, make sure that you're heading on the right path and realize that the direction that you're heading in life is more important than the speed that you're going at because you're eventually going to get there. And so that's why you've got to stop focusing on the end result. Stop focusing on that end result. Is it good to know where you're going? Absolutely. You've got to know where you're going, but don't make that the reason why you're doing it. Like if you're starting a business simply because you want to be rich, you've already lost the game. You have to enjoy the journey. You have to enjoy the growth process of getting better and learning and failing and getting better and learning and growing and failing and getting better because that is what's eventually going to get you there. If you're just focused on that end result, I promise you this, you're probably not going to get there. Or you're going to really hate your life up until you finally get there. The goal is to go, what direction am I going in? Like I'm in Austin right now. If I were to want to go to Dallas, I'd have to head north. So as long as I wake up every single morning and I, before I start walking, I look at my, my compass and I go, okay, I'm heading north. All right, I'm just going to start walking this way. And I wake up the next morning, I say, okay, What's my direction? Compass says I'm heading north. Okay, I'm just going to keep walking this way. As long as I'm going in the right direction, north, eventually, I don't know how long it takes to walk from Austin to Dallas. It's probably a few days. Eventually, I'm going to end up there. So realize this. Be patient with what is it you want. Decide what is it you want. Burn all of the ships. Give yourself no other option. And then realize that the direction that you're heading in life is more important than the speed that you're heading at. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. We've been sold a lie. You've been sold a lie. I've been sold a lie. We've all been sold a lie. No wonder why people are so stressed is because they're stuck in a reality that they do not want. 